next topic is on cleaning, sanitizing, and safety. So likewise, it is divided into three parts. The first being principles of cleaning and sanitizing. The second one is on facilities, cleaning, and maintenance. And the last part is on worker and customer safety. So what is cleaning and what is sanitizing? Is there a difference between cleaning and sanitizing? Um, there is. So cleaning is actually the physical removal of visible soil and food from a surface. So it's, for example, if you have a spoon, so it's actually removal by using chemicals or using detergents to remove the soil, uh, something that you can see, something that you can feel or touch. So that is cleaning. And sanitizing is actually the process that reduces the number of microorganisms to safe levels. And sanitized surfaces are not necessarily sterile, which means to be free of microorganisms. So this process goes hand in hand in any food service um, operation. And um, it is very um, resource intensive due to the fact that both of these cleaning and san sanitizing would require um, a lot of labor, a lot of time. You would require chemical compounds, um, equipment, as well as the energy. So what happens if you do not manage uh, these two functions uh, properly? So you can have injury or illness to employees and customers. So this can happen um, when you do not provide, for example, you do not provide your employees with um, personal protective equipment and they use uh, chemicals or cleaning compounds that is harsh to the skin, then they might get skin irritation. In terms of waste of chemicals and money, if you do not train the employees how to use the chemicals, they might they wouldn't know the amount that is needed um, in for cleaning or for sanitizing. So they might simply use um, as much as they like. So you are actually wasting um, uh, money um, through um, those mismanagement of chemicals. And the third one is damage to equipment and facilities. So this can happen because only certain chemicals or certain uh, compounds are suitable for certain materials. So for instance, um, abrasive in the form abrasive cleaners in the form of powders may not be suitable for stainless steel surface because it might scratch um, the surface of your equipment or your countertop. Let's move on to the principal, principles of cleaning. So there are three main steps in cleaning. There's removal of food particles, application of cleaning agents, and the last one is rinsing. Um, in removal of food particles, this is an important step. Uh, you have to remove all food particles before you start with the actual cleaning is because um, it might, the food particles that is stuck onto uh, food contact surfaces might reduce the effectiveness of the cleaning compound. Okay, so if it reduces the effectiveness of cleaning compound, then you have to use more cleaning compound. So it actually can increase your cost. And application of cleaning agents is whereby you apply um, the cleaning compound to um, wash away, uh, remove the soil and dirt. And the last one is rinsing, whereby you rinse away the, the soil and dirt as well as the cleaning compounds. Um, rinsing have to be done properly is because um, you will f uh, go further with sanitizing process. So any cleaning compounds that is still um, adhere to your food contact surfaces to be sanitized can actually reduce the effectiveness of your sanitizing solution. So now we look into the sanitizing principles. All food contact surfaces must be sanitized immediately after cleaning. And there are two common methods in sanitizing, the first 